ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Mr. Stroud. Good morning, everybody. All right, here we are again for our math competition. Let me see your time outside. Fantastic. All right. We got all of our contestants up here. Are you guys ready? Yeah, have you been practicing? Oh, of course you're ready. Because it's only math, right? Yeah. So easy. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about how our competition works, okay? If you've seen it before, it's very similar to what we've done before, except this year it's only third graders. No other classes are competing today in math competition, just third graders. Okay? Yeah, give them a round of applause. All right, so here's how it works. We're gonna have problems given to our contestants here in three categories. There'll be a computation questions, there'll be word problems, and there'll be some other kind of miscellaneous problems that we toss in there for you too, okay? There'll be a total of six questions that we'll give you. Six questions that we'll give you. And if there is some kind of a tie score between some of our contestants, then we'll use some tiebreaker questions for just those people who are tied in their score, all right? So here's how the scoring works. When we give you a problem, you're going to have all these tools in front of you, okay? There'll be, there'll be a, a problem given to you on a piece of paper, okay? You have your whiteboard to work on, you have an eraser, you have a pencil to work on on the piece of paper, okay? And then what you'll do is you'll write your answer down on this whiteboard, nice and big, so that the judges can see you, and you'll hold it up. If you are the first person to hold it up and have the correct answer, you will get five points. If you're the second place person with the right answer, you get four points. Third place answer gets three points. Second place answer gets two points. And as long as you get the answer correct, you get one point. All right? So there's five, four, three, two, one, and then everybody that gets an answer right gets at least one point, okay? All right, so again, you have all these tools to work with. You have your your whiteboards, you have, you'll have a piece of paper with a problem on it, you can work it out. But you write down your answer, and you hold it up nice and big so our judges can see you, okay? <clears throat> now, once we're all done with those six questions, again, we'll total up all the points, we'll see if we have a clear first, second, and third place winner, and if we do, we'll start awarding the prizes. If we don't, we have tiebreaker questions for you, okay? Now. Let's talk about the prizes. All right. Our first place winner will receive from our exclusive sponsor of this contest, Stage 9 Entertainment in downtown Sacramento, get a $25 gift certificate to spend at any one of their stores. G. Willikers Toy Shop, The Vault, Stage 9 Entertainment, California, or The Candy Confectionery. You can spend this any way you want. They have a whole bunch of stores in Old Sacramento, and you can go spend that money any way you want. That's for first place. Now let's give it up for Stage 9. They're giving up a lot of cool stuff for us to give away. You'll also receive a medal, all right, you get a medal, and everybody that participates get a participation ribbon, okay? And everybody that participates also gets a Sudoku book, all right, so you get that too. Now, second place winner. If you're the second place winner, you also get a gift certificate. You get $20 to spend at Stage 9 Entertainment stores in Old Sacramento, okay? $20 for second place. Spend it any way you want. Twenty dollars worth of candy, if you want. But they got really cool toys, and they got all kinds of fun, great stuff. Oh my, you, you'll you'll spend forever in there walking around trying to figure out what you want, okay? And then third place winner, third place winner gets fifteen dollars to spend at Stage Nine stores in Old Sacramento. Let's give it up one more.
more time for Stage 9 Entertainment for sponsoring our math competition today and giving us those wonderful prizes. Okay? Are you all ready? Yes. Audience, are you ready? Yes. Now I do have some I do have some uh, rules for the audience. So audience, let me see your time outside. Let me see your time outside. I do have rules for you as well. We want to make sure that all of our competitors here have the same chance to answer the question. What we're doing for you is we'll be putting the problems up here on the screens behind our contestants. All right? No shouting out answers. No doing number signs. No helping from the audience at all. All right? We want it to be fair, and we want them to have some fun too, okay? So we want you to also have some fun, enjoy, just watch, enjoy, and you can root on your, your classmate as we go through the competition. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. We are ready for question number one. Mr. Surdy is passing it out. Now here's contestants, what's gonna happen when I tell you to go? You will turn your paper over and you'll start solving the problem. Okay? Do not turn over your paper until I tell you. The white paper has the problem on it. Okay? The white paper, you just flip them both over. Okay? All right, are you ready? Everybody ready? Question number one. Ready, go! No help from the audience. up here on the board. Have you all figured it out already? Huh? All right. All right. As soon as the judges tell me they have everything recorded, we'll move on to question number two. Raise your hand if you figured it out. Oh, nice. All right. Judges, you got them all? person that got the correct answer gets their five points, second place gets their four points, third place gets their three points, fourth place gets two points, and then everybody else, as long as they have the answer right, gets one point. So you have to be correct, and you have to be quick. All right, everybody set? Give them a round of applause. Round one is complete. How many got the answer? 689. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So they're collecting up 
Question number one. Getting ready for question number two. All right. All right. Contestants, are you ready? Question number two. Ready? Go!
audience for Harry Clark. Give them a round of applause. That was kind of a tough one. First of all, we have Miss Story bringing cookies to work and not giving me any. Which is just wrong. It's just wrong. But how many of you realize that's a more than one step to solve that problem? The first step you have to do is what? 40 minus 8. 40 minus 8. Because she gave 8 of them to a friend. Then she took the rest of them and put them into how many equal groups? Eight. So we have 32 divided by eight, which is four. How many of you got the answer four? Fantastic, good job, all right. Great job, everybody. All right, contestants, are you ready for question number five? We're two questions away from seeing if we have any clear winners yet. Are you ready? Okay, audience, are you ready? All right, very quiet, so they have nice and quiet to work their problems out. Here we go. Ready, go! Give our contestants another round of applause. Everybody, shout out the answer. What's the answer? 200. 200, right? By the way, who can tell me how do we round numbers to a specific place value? We have to start in that place value. Is that right? Then we look one to the. We look one to the. To the right. And if that's five or above, we do what? Give it a shove up one, right? Four or less, we can leave that one at rest, make the rest of them zeros, right? Pretty easy stuff rounding, right? As long as you know what your place value is. All right, great job, contestants. Here we go. Question number six. This is our final question. We'll add up all the points and see if we have clear winners or if we have tiebreaker questions we need to give away. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go, question number six, ready, go.
All right, give our contestants another round of applause. All right, so what's the first thing I have to do to solve this one? What do I have to do? 25 minus 5, right? So if I take 25 minus 5, I'm left with how much? 20. And then I have on the other side, 5 times some number equals 20. So 5 times 1 equals 20? 4. How many of you got the answer? 4. Fantastic. All right. Okay, contestants, guess what? That's the end of our six question round. Our judges are adding up all the points. We're seeing if there's any tie scores. How did you feel about it? I was nervous. Nervous? But you figured out how to do it. You figured out. Man, those are easy. Huh? How about you? How do you feel? Nervous. Nervous? Did you think you did well? Um, yes. All right, that's what we like to hear. How about you? How did you do? Wow, nervous, but yet still confident. That's awesome. I like that. How about you? I was confident too. Nice. Nice. It's all math stuff, right? So easy. How about you? I felt happy. Happy. That's what I like to hear. Happy. All right. Happy. And how about you? How did you feel? Nervous. Nervous, but you did well, right? Fantastic. All right. Well, we got one more down here. One more down here. We gotta ask Mark. Mark. Which problem was your favorite? I like the third one. The third one. My, I like that one too. I like all of them. I like the third one because it came after the second one, but yet it was before the fourth one. So that was what made it my favorite too. You like the second question too? And six? You like all six? Fantastic. All right, so it looks like we have our winners from our six question round. All right. Are we ready to find out who our winners are? All right. I'm going to hand it over to Miss Katz, and she's going to announce our winners. And when you hear your name called, come on up here, we'll give you your prizes. All right? All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. I'm going to start with third place. Okay, in third place we have Mark Dedick from Mrs. Stories Club.
Okay. If you participated today, but you didn't get first, second, or third, we still have some things for you. So can you come on up on the stage? Yeah, give them a round of applause. They did awesome out there.